Hey everybody and welcome back for another video. In today's video we are talking about The Bad Batch Episode 2. Uh, we watched and discussed Episode 1 recently so we are going to go ahead and discuss number 2. Once again, just like if you watched in the first one, you may notice we have a new format. This is the last time I'll go over it just so we all know. Uh, the new format is in comparison to The Mandalorian. We'll try to do a quick overview of the episode, talk about our favorite parts, and then it is up to you whether you want to go and watch the episode yourself. We do have my wife here again, Sarah, and she is going to go ahead and give you the brief overview of episode two. All right, hopefully I do it justice here. Uh, we left off last time with our Bad Batch uh, group kind of um, fleeing the Empire, right? So they, um, they know somebody on a certain planet that can help them. So they go and find this person. I don't know his name, actually. Um, but he's in relations with Captain Rex, right? And, no, uh, he, they were looking for Captain Rex, but hmm. they found somebody that wasn't him. I gotcha. Well, this guy that they found is another uh, clone who's um, just like them in terms of, you know, not really one of the clone troopers anymore. Uh, it's a family with kids, and so there's kind of a bit of a learning curve for Hunter with being um, trying to be like a father figure, or at least uh, for Omega. Um, we've got kind of a fun scene where she's learning to be a kid and play and whatnot. Um, there's an altercation where she goes past the fence uh, and has an interaction with, what's the monster? It's called a Nexu. Nexu. Um they wind up needing to, uh, the family is trying to flee uh, so that they can stay on, under the radar. Um, and so we've got, I believe his name is Specs um, or Tech. Tech. Tech, uh, who helps them get chain codes because we've learned that you now need chain codes to use public transport. Um, and so kind of the rest of the episode is them just trying to help the family escape, uh, very much like the Mandalorian. Um, You've kind of got Hunter saying, like, all right, Omega, you need to go off with them because it's what's good for you. And, of course, she doesn't because she wants to be with Hunter because that's who she knows and that's who she was um, fleeing with, uh, much like Mandalorian with Grogu wanting to stick with uh, Mando. Um, so take what you want from that as far as it being kind of a, um, a little bit of the same formula there. Um, I think that kind of about wraps it up in terms of the episode. Uh, the scene of them trying to escape and getting those credits takes up, I'd say, probably the majority of the episode. I'd say maybe about half. Uh, yeah. I also thought it was interesting, before we get into our favorite parts, uh, as far as I understand, the, the whole thing about the Empire wanting these codes is just to know who's on the planet, and basically having a survey of what's going on and i kind of thought about it and it seems like today's world so i didn't quite understand the the issue with uh knowing who's on which planet and whatnot it's almost like a census that the empire wants but apparently that's terrible i think it might be <laughs> more or less of number one change is hard right? And that's not how things used to be. But number two, they wanted the chain codes to use public transport. They don't ask for your ID when you're getting on a city bus, or at least they don't hear um, where we're from. So, uh, you, you, I mean, you have to have a bus pass, but you don't have to show them your ID to get on the bus. And that's kind of what was going on here. You, you do need one for a flight. And so I don't know if that's what they were going for as a shuttle. I don't know if that was just across the planet or flying somewhere. They were flying. <laughs> Well, they weren't flying yet, <laughs> but anyway. Yeah, so let's just jump right into our favorite parts. Um, my favorite part was the fact that they had a Nexu. Uh, I thought that was a cool callback to episode two. For those of you that don't know or haven't seen the prequels for some reason, uh, in Star Wars Attack of the Clones, uh, Anakin, Obi-Wan, and Padme are in an arena where they're supposed to be executed by these mm -hmm. three monsters. And one of them is the Nexu. It's the one that attacks Padme. So a little bit of a callback to a Nexu. That was my favorite part. What is yours? 
I think my favorite part was at the end when they're trying to flee and um, what's his name? It's one of the Bad Batch guys. It's the oh, guy with yeah. the um, the the not so good eye. <laughs> He's the brute of the group. Yeah, so, I my his name's Wrecker. escaping me for some reason. Wrecker, isn't it? Wrecker, yes, yep. So at one point, Wrecker, uh, somebody, uh, one of the troopers asks for his chain code, and he doesn't have one because they were just getting him for the family to escape. So he goes, oh, I think it's over here in this hand, and sees that hand's empty. Oh, maybe it's in this hand, and sees that hand's empty. And he's got three troopers sitting in front of him, so he takes their heads and just conks them all together. <laughs> I got a kick out of that. I thought it was some uh, good comedic relief for a high-stress situation. Yeah, I like that a moment a lot. Uh, it, it seemed like a very, very Dave Filoni type episode, which, of course, makes sense um, because he's the one that makes it. Uh, these, this animated universe is his baby, so to speak. Uh, so, yeah, that was a brief overview of the episode. The episode was much shorter than the first one for obvious reasons. The first one was uh, 70 minutes long for a premiere, and then from here on out, it's supposed to be somewhere in the 21 to 25 minute range. Um, it's listed as 30 minutes on Disney Plus, but we all know after Disney Plus started doing TV shows that the credits and the introductions are just super long, and that's why it says 30 instead of the shorter length. But yeah, that wraps it up for us today. Uh, Make sure to turn on notifications. That way you are notified when the next uh, Bad Batch discussion drops. If you haven't already, please subscribe to the channel. Drop us a like if you like this video. Drop us a comment letting us know your favorite part of the episode and how you like this new format. If you've seen our format from The Mandalorian before, where I think we took probably about like 45 to 50 minutes to break down everything. Uh, they were literally almost as long as the episodes themselves. <laughs> and we wanted to try to, you know, shorten it up a little bit and uh, just give you a taste of what's going on. That way, if you want to watch it, you can go ahead and uh, see it on Disney+. Plus. And then, as always, everybody, thank you for watching. We'll see you next time. <laughs>